want potential customers to ask you for the meeting when reaching out on LinkedIn or using cold email? Create a niche, scratch it, but don't over scratch. Avoid getting prospects clear on your offer. Help them get unclear, slightly confused. Oh, and don't offer value. I'm completely serious. Don't educate them or offer value because these are common yet slimy persuasion tactics. Watch what everyone else does and do the opposite because in sales outreach, the majority is always wrong. Come with me. I'm gonna show you a wild new outreach strategy, provocation. Potential customers who are not in buy mode right now, but will be in the future, will engage with an unclear email providing zero value. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused right now, G. Now, it's okay if you don't believe me or understand what the hell I'm talking about or are confused with how this can be true. That's good because when you are a little confused yet intrigued, you've caught the scent of value. And that, my friend, is what I'm talking about. That is the itch. Prospects are engaging more often when sellers avoid adding value when reaching out. Because when a sales or marketing person shares value, it comes across as an insincere sales ploy. Think about it. When was the last time a marketer or salesperson offered you what they considered valuable? But you knew it was junk designed with selling to you in mind. That is what I'm talking about. Everyone knows that there's no such thing as a free value. There's always a catch. Sales outreach messages need to avoid being clear, being compelling, and using a call to action. Again, avoid what everyone else does, and not because I say so, because doing the opposite of what most people do is going to put you on the path to extraordinary results. Think about it. This is basic psychology. The clearer that you are, the fewer questions that you have. So example, if I explain this concept to you and you are 100% perfectly clear, your confidence is going to increase. You don't have any questions at all for me. You're not curious. You're gonna run out there and you're going to test my theory. From a marketing perspective, this video will have totally failed because you have no incentive to engage with me in a meaningful way. The more that I try to compel you and tell you what to do or use a call to action, the more you are likely to resist it. Maybe you can relate to what I'm getting at here. If you can or can't, leave me a comment below. I wanna hear from you. Contrary to popular belief, educating potential customers does not showcase your knowledge and ability to solve their problem because they know why you're being so helpful to sell. It shows them that you're trying to persuade. Look, right now, maybe you're not clear on what I'm describing, and that's good. I want you to be unclear. This attracts the people who are willing and able and want to get clear. You may or may not be one of those people, but for sure, right now, I am creating an itch. But if I over scratch by making you totally clear, this increases your confidence level that you can do this on your own right away without me. Can you? <laughs> Maybe. But in my experience, 80% of the people who watch this video will need a little bit of help. And I am in the business of helping. Nice. All right. If you want people to engage with you by becoming curious on LinkedIn or in real time conversation, I want you to consider doing this. Follow this outreach strategy. Create a niche, scratch it, but don't over scratch. Create a little bit of intrigue. That is your messaging strategy. Get people curious about a conversation that might lead to a meeting. Engage your leads by making them unclear be unclear. This helps them feel an urge to ask questions. Remember, less is always more. I want you to hold back. Okay, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most effective sales and marketing strategies 
provoke curiosity, leading to deep engagement. Now, if you have become curious about using curiosity to engage, take the next step. Get started changing your outreach strategy in my Curiosity Crash Course. All the best and see you in the next video.